This is Darius from therabbitpad.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use conditional formatting to format one cell based on the actions performed in another cell. In the last video, I showed you how to use conditional formatting to change the color of a box when you click on a checkbox. And now let's go a little deeper and learn how to get this row or this column to behave based on actions taken in this column. So what you want to do first is you want to highlight the row or the cells that are going to receive the result of the action. So in this case, it will be the items on my packing list. Then go to format and click on conditional formatting. Here, it will open up the conditional format rules panel and your range is already highlighted because I want these rows or this column to receive the action of what's happening in these cells. For the format rules, you want to click format cells if and then custom formula. Now, since changing column C is dependent on what happens on column B, you have to type the following equals B3 colon B12, which will activate all of these rows to apply to this conditional formatting. Then enter true because when you click on a checkbox, the text that appears in the background is true. Then down here, we don't want to fill it with a color. So let's just go ahead and strike through the items that are checked off. So I'm going to select strike through as my formatting. When you're done, click done. And now, as you can see, when I click on the checkboxes, the words in column C are crossed off. So this video shows you how to use conditional formatting to impact cells based on actions performed in other cells. If you found this video helpful, please click that like button and subscribe to this channel to view more helpful videos in the future. Also, please be sure to visit my website at therabbitpad.com.